the prince went down the stairs and found the slipper, the beautiful slipper. And he said, this, this is the shoe. The woman who will fit this shoe, I will marry her. The prince went to his father, the king, and showed him the slipper. We must find the woman who fits this slipper. I will marry her immediately. The king said, okay. And he told all of the women who had been to the ball, any of the women, they should be in their homes. The prince went to the home, knocked on the door, and tried to fit the slipper on the girls. One was too small. The other one was too big. He started to give up. At last, he came upon Cinderella's home. He went into the home, and the two stepsisters were so excited. They tried to put the shoe on, but they cheated. They curled their toes up and wrapped them tightly, and the shoe fit. It was a perfect fit. She began to walk off with the prince, but she was walking kind of funny. She was walking, and she was limping, actually. The prince said, let me see. No, I'm sorry, you're not the one. It's not you. She was heartbroken. She said, but the shoe was a perfect fit. He said, no, I'm sorry. The other sister did the same thing. She stuffed her foot in that shoe. She cheated and walked, but the prince said, no, it's not this one. He was ready to leave, and he thought, well, do you have one more sister? Oh, no, just a cleaning woman. She didn't go to the ball. That doesn't matter. I want to see her. Okay. They called for Cinderella, and she came down to the room. The prince had his aide go to Cinderella. Cinderella sat down and put up her foot. He put the slipper on, and it was a perfect fit. The prince said, it's you. That's it. My true love. It's you. The second the shoe went on, magically, Cinderella's rags became a fine gown. The prince looked and saw the beauty. This is my true love. He proposed marriage. Cinderella accepted. The two of them went to the father's house, and he introduced his bride to the king. People came from near and far for a ball. They wanted to celebrate the prince's marriage. The two stepsisters looked on in jealousy. The prince and his bride danced around and around, and they lived happily ever after.